I hope I find it. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Hey y'all. Hey. So good morning. Um, where I where I am is morning time. So good morning. Hey girl. Hey. Hey boy. Hey. If guys are watching my channel, um, so listen. Um, I wanted to pop on really quick just to share. Um you know, a couple of updates with you guys. Um, I know I've been MIA. Um, after this little message, I'm going to go ahead and get into the vlog because I don't have an intro for my channel yet. Um, I'm researching on how to do that because um, I'm trying to do everything on my own. Um, I want to, you know, make my own little introduction or intro before my vlog starts. So, um, yeah. Um, I know I've been MIA. I just really, guys, I've been really working hard, manifesting a lot of things, and um, like I always say, doing research on how to make my YouTube better. Um, but I've been very heavy into TikTok. Um, TikTok is my speed. I'm really, really, really loving TikTok. And you guys, yesterday, I was on my way to pick up a package that I'm going to show you guys in a later vlog. Um, I was on my way to pick up my package and, you know, as I'm driving my phone, I have a holder for my phone inside of my car. So I see like, you know, like TikTok likes, so I'm just like, okay, you know, um, I know that my videos on TikToks, they get a lot of views, but like I said, um, not so many likes, you know, it's really hard to get on the algorithm. And I've been, you know, being consistent with posting on TikTok. Um, <laughs> so yesterday, um, I get the message and I will, um, I screenshotted this because I was so excited. Like, it's the little things for me. It's always been the little things for me, guys. Um and not to get off topic, I was watching, um, it's this, it's this young lady that, and I'm going to call her a young lady because she is young. She's like in her twenties. And, um, I was watching her vlog and, um, she's from Canada and she was, she was so excited about Cheesecake Factory. I think they just got like a Cheesecake Factory that came to Canada. Probably she, I want to say she said about two or three um, years ago. And she said how she loves it so much. I'm that girl. Like, I love Cheesecake Factory. Like, I, when I tell you I am so <laughs> chill, take me to Cheesecake Factory. I love Cheesecake Factory. Like I said, it's the little things for me. I love that for me. Like, when she said Cheesecake Factory, I was like, I'm not the only one. Like, I'm not the only one. But anywho, back to my little story. Sorry for that little rant. But guess who liked my video guess who liked my video like i said i could give a hoot about a like as long as the i don't want to say important people because i feel like everybody is important but for me as long as the important people are watching my video guess who liked my video drunk elephant brand girl i i cannot <laughs> am like oh my goodness like what what drunk elephant what drunk elephant skincare like I use drunk elephant skincare products I do I do and I you know I had that in my TikTok video because I love their products I'm a huge fan of drunk elephant products so when I saw that they liked my video I was like what <laughs> what like who am I right now like what so like I said I could give a hoot about a like but if the right people are watching my videos honey honey <laughs> so that just made my night and that just motivated me to like keep going like I said I'm from a different era I know it's a lot of young folks that's into like this social media thing and I do love the TikTok um now at first I was just like hmm this is for kids it's like funny people are dancing people are making jokes but 
when I saw like the mini vlogs, you could do like the mini vlogs, you can learn like about home decor, like that's the side of TikTok that I like and that I'm interested in. And so I started doing that. And you guys, I love TikTok for me. Like I love it. It's my speed. Like that is so me. But when Drunk Elephant liked my video, I was like, Paula, you it just gave me the motivation because I'm just like, I'm I don't think I'm I don't think I'm getting back on YouTube. I don't hmm. but I do like YouTube. It's just a lot of work as far as the edits. And I think I'm starting to do really well with my edits. Um, again, I still work a full-time job, so um, I'm not as consistent. And the reason why I was like thinking about giving YouTube a like a break is because you know people on YouTube like for you to be consistent. That's the only way you will grow on YouTube if you are consistent. Out YouTube is a. I watch YouTube all the time. I still do. When I'm at work, I watch it. I pull it up. Um, but you have to be consistent on there. That's the only way that you're gonna grow. And I am not consistent at all. <laughs> and that's because I still work. I have a life outside of YouTube. So, um, I'm gonna try my best to post when I can. <laughs> but right now. Um, YouTube is not my main focus. Um, I have a lot of other things that I'm trying to do, but you guys follow me on TikTok. I am a little bit more consistent on TikTok, but I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and this is not me leaving, you know, YouTube. Um, but I will post when, when I can. Um, if, and I, and I do vlogs. I, so, yeah, I don't want to say a schedule because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to uphold to that schedule. Um, um, the most important thing right now in my life is myself and work. And I'm just being honest with you guys. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, anywho, I stopped at Ulta. Um, and I picked up a couple of things that I needed well i'm not gonna say i need it because i didn't need these things um but i needed like a spray bottle because i'm gonna start um doing my own hair in between you know on my off days where i don't get my hair done i get my hair done like every three weeks and in the summertime i really wasn't getting my hair done because as you guys know i wear my natural real hair and um it's just a waste if i go get my hair done in the summertime once the Heat hits it. My hair is like poof. It's a poof ball. Um, I purchased this um, wet brush. This It's called a gold green water seed oil infused shine brush. So I wanted to try that. Um, yeah, so I picked that up. Um, I opened this already just to see what it looked like. I picked up the Valentino born in roma spray um on the go spray so i can put in my cosmetic bag and i can show you what it looks like this is just the spray because i just want something to put inside of my cosmetic bag you never know when you may need to spray and like i said i work overnight so i never know when i may get off work and need to freshen up because i have like a doctor's appointment a dental appointment eye appointment or just an appointment period um so that's that on that and i also picked up this new primer i did see this in target so you don't have to go to alta just to buy this it's the the marshmallow primer i wanted to try using a primer now before i put on my um concealer and my um what do I wear? A bronzer. Um, as, I got, as I told you guys, I just do concealer and bronzer. That's it for the winter months because I get very pale <laughs> like Casper the Ghost. So, um, anywho, I picked up a mascara um, and the brand is Essence and this is Lash Princess. And I got the False Lash Effect Mascara Waterproof. I do not wear um, 
what is it? I don't wear lashes. I want to start though. Um, I'm going to try them for the first time soon. Um, I'm, I just have really bad anxiety and I know that anything close to my eye, I get a little nervous. So, and I don't want to waste anyone's time, but if I feel very uncomfortable, I will like ask them to stop and I'll just leave. Um, because once my anxiety kicks in, you could see it. It's, it's a lot. Um, yeah, I get really, really antsy and I don't want anybody to have to witness that, especially if they're like putting on lashes, you know, they're going to be distracted. So that's the only thing that's stopping me from getting lashes is my anxiety and knowing the fact that something is going close to my eye. But a lot of people that I talk to, they say that um, it's not bad. Most people say they fall asleep. I don't know, but I like the look of lashes. They are really pretty. Now, I don't want those long big dramatic lashes i just want something very natural looking so i'm gonna look into getting lashes soon so just a heads up <laughs> if you guys see me back on my channel i have lashes on um also i picked up um a bar of soap um and it's the sheer moisturizer and the coconut and a biscuit sheer butter soap it smells so good i can't wait to use that so that's that. Um, and I went to Ulta yesterday. The purchase that I just showed you, I did that a while ago. I've been wanting to share this with you guys. But like I said, I've just been so busy and I'm not consistent on my YouTube. That's because I work. <laughs> I work a lot. So um, I just picked up a fresh toner. The brand is Fresh and it's the Rose Toner by Fresh. I'm sure you guys know what that looks like. But if you don't, I'll show you. Um, I used to buy this like back in the day. I don't know why I stopped. I really don't. Um, maybe because I don't go in Sephora that much. I don't know. But they have it at Ulta. I didn't know that. Um, I recently started going to Ulta because um, Ulta is very close to where I live. And Sephora is not that close to me anymore. Um, it's close. But not that close, if that makes sense. But I have an Ulta. And I didn't know they had Fresh, um, the Fresh brand there. So I picked this up yesterday. So I'm back to using my Fresh toner. Oh, I know what made me get this again. My sister. Um, I was recently spending some quality time with my sister. And um, she lives by this brand. And she had this. And I was like, oh, I miss getting my toner from the brand. So I picked Fresh up. Um, and what else did I get? Oh, I got another <laughs> mascara from the brand Essence. And this one is Crazy Volume Mascara. So, yeah, they are the same brand. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Um, yeah, so I hope you like the vlog. Um, I will link... Um, I screenshot, I don't know if I told you guys, but I was so excited. I screenshot it when Drunk Elephant liked my video and I'll link it above. Um, but that just motivated me to keep going. Like I said, um, I really like TikTok. So um, if you guys have TikTok, um, follow me on TikTok. I'm much more consistent on TikTok. And I do like these um, three minutes, 16 seconds, sometimes 30 second videos. Um, and I like that a lot. Um, like I said, I'm not giving up on YouTube. It's just that I have a busy schedule outside of YouTube. Um, and I'm doing a lot of other things, um, right now that I'm focused on. And I don't want to set a schedule when I can make like YouTube videos. So... If you want content, follow me on, if you want consistent content, follow me on TikTok. Um, I'll post when I can, when I'm doing things or when I have things going on. Like I said, I do the, a lot of vlogging. So um, it's no need to vlog if you're really not doing much. And you guys, I mainly go to work. Um, and when I'm not at work, I'm at home um, trying to... <laughs> Um, I'm either listening to podcasts, I am 
big on true crime podcasts. I listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, I do a lot of journaling, um, meditating. So I do a lot of that at home. And right now, I don't really want to share those kind of things. It's kind of intimate to me as far as like the meditation um, and things of that nature. So yeah, so I am going to go ahead and get off of here because I have a busy day today. Um, some things that I need to return because I am hanging up curtains as we speak. Um, I started hanging up curtains last night and I hung up three rods, needed a drink and passed out. <laughs> like, who am I? Like, I'm, I'm hanging up curtain rods. Like, <sighs> mm, 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 mm. this is really interesting. But if you want something done, you need to get it done yourself. So, yeah. So I... Had, I've been researching that because this is my first time hanging up curtains and I have really high ceilings. So, woo, this is a lot. And I have a lot of windows in here. A lot of windows. This has been very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. <laughs> so, anywho, I am going to get off of here now. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. And until I vlog again... Hey y'all, hey. So I am back with, um, so I'm in my kitchen, like I'm always in my kitchen. Um, I am just unboxing an item that I ordered on Etsy. So this is the second time that I've ordered on Etsy. Um, excuse the way I look, I'm just getting up. <laughs> um, I am getting, I'm trying to get myself together so I can go for my walk before work. Um, yeah, I'm not showing my face because I look crusty. I'm just waking up. So I don't know if you guys know this, but when you guys are like looking around at people's like countertops, I have been into countertops and I have a really large island that sits like i have an open concept kitchen so it's open i am always filming in my kitchen so you guys really can't tell that's how i started i was always in my kitchen if you guys watch me in my old place my kitchen is like 10 times bigger and it's open and i have a beautiful beautiful island so i've been like trying to decorate that so i recently ordered I want all the products from this line. I've always wanted, <laughs> I, I am in love with smug appliances. I just love it. I, it's something about it that is like 1960 retro mixed with modern, if that makes sense. So I recently ordered the smug kettle because I am a tea drinker, believe it or not. I love tea. Um, so, anywho, am I saying this right? I ordered a custom mini tiered tray. Um, excuse me. And I went back and forth with this lady. And I know she's probably like, oh my God, like this girl is crazy. Um, but she was really, really awesome. Her name is Jojo, and I will link her Etsy information down below. But I just, from the pictures she showed me, she murdered the concept. She completed her assignment from the photos. And I'm looking, and she, I told her the cup, like, you guys oh my goodness homegirl jojo you did this so this is the tier i mean everything come here to put it together so these are the um what do you call this stuff this is the accessories that you have to 
Is it accessories? I don't know. I have a screw and I have some things. I have to put it together myself. So I take it. This is the top. The top. The middle. And the bottom. And it has feet. We love feet. Oh my God. She murdered the color. You guys know pink is my thing. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it also like goes with like my, the color, the color idea that I have for this. So, oh my gosh, she did that. I will leave her Etsy information link below. You guys, oh my goodness. This is about to be so stinking cute, if I say so myself. Love this for me. I love this for me. So, um... Yeah, so right now I'm about to get ready and go for my walk. Um, I'm not showing my, much of my face because I feel like I look very crusty. Um, so yeah, this is going to be bye for now. Peace. Hey y'all real quick. So I know it's like I'm always going to Target, but I needed a couple things. So here's what I got from Target really quick. <laughs> I saw this, wanted to try it. Um, it smells really, really good. I picked up two because Target was running some promotion that if you get, is it over $20 worth of product, you get like a $5 gift card or something like that. I got a $5 gift card. Um, this is what I use to rinse my mouth. I've been using this for a couple of years now. Um, I use my treatment pads by Neutrogena. My dentist recommended this to me years ago. Neutrogena, I think I said that correctly. Um, this is the hand soap that I use. That I just get the big one for refills. I picked up some wipes for down there. No need to go into detail about that. It is what it is. Um, I use the Dove 0% Aluminum Free Deodorant. Um, I noticed that as I got older, um, certain deodorants were bothering me. This is the only deodorant that does not bother me um, and it keeps me fresh. So, yeah. But I'm not, like, it's been times where I haven't had on deodorant and I don't know, it, I don't smell. So I guess I just don't produce a lot of sweat under my underarms. Um, this, is a, this is a toothpaste that I use. Um, I always stack up on toothpaste. Um, I'm upset that I only got three. I normally try to get between three and six. And it was a, it's, I should have got more because of that $5 gift card, so. Um, my panty liners is a must for me. So these are the panty liners that I use and I try to get 96, um, like a double stack to last. Um, my exfoliating pads because I was running low. Actually, I don't have any at all. I have just the normal pads. I like the exfoliating pads. And I brought a shirt that I absolutely did not need. Um, but it was on sale. So, and this is mainly what I wear. I just wear a lot of t-shirts and jeans and jeans. Yep. So those are my vans that I wear. <laughs> but yeah, I picked up this little shirt from Target. I think this was a either 13 yeah this was like 13 dollars the regular price was 16.99 i got it when it was on clearance for like 13 bucks so this is all the shit i got from target okay bye So I need 
white chocolate. I am trying to make a smoothie and it calls for white chocolate. Maybe it. Yeah. Classic white. I they not have anything smaller. And they have the unsweetened flake coconut. Again tonight. When they say you miss a week, you still follow one. You can. You can. As soon as you can miss years. Like I missed a couple months. You can miss the whole, the whole thing and pick right back out where you left off. I haven't seen the stories in years. I've been winning like I found the perfect cheat code. Social distance, shoddy, don't get close to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a lot of problems, but I couldn't keep them. I've been on a Wait. so big to wipe out lethal. Switch it up, Ay. take it slow, take it slow. Bring it back, bring it back. Let them know, let them know. Break it down to the flow, to the flow. Pick it up, pick it up. Let it go, let it go, baby. Back on the grind, don't. Oh my God, they look so good. Hey y'all, hey. So real quick, picked up some cupcakes because whenever I'm in town, um, I haven't had these in like a couple of months, but it is a really good bakery. And I think this guy was on um, Cake Wars. I believe, but anywho, it is a cake shop in my old neighborhood by Jason Hens Hensley. I'm gonna spell the last name is H I S L E Y. His cupcakes are so good, you guys. Like every time I go, which is once in a blue moon, is they always have like different flavors and things. This time I got like the bacon and I got carrot. Carrot cake is my favorite. So yeah, I wanted to. Whenever I'm in town and I have a taste for like some real deal cupcakes, I stop by his bakery. I'll list it below, but I cannot wait for this treat after dinner today. So just wanted to come on really quick. So yeah, so this is going to be bye for now. And I know these cupcakes are going to be so good, so good, so good. Exhale and tap me on my page. Uh -huh. Seems like that I did not like how that smelled. That does not smell good to me. Oh, they also have the candle, and the candle didn't smell good either. I don't like it. I don't like it. This smells good. This smells good though. Trader Joe's, carry all my groceries and lick on all my toes. Trying to cuff, but I know you gonna leave me alone. When my phone ring is cause a nigga seen the way I grow. We don't fuck, he just picked me up from Trader Joe's. Carry all my groceries and lick on all my toes. Trying to cuff, but I know you gonna. So, guys, I'm ending my night with some Buffalo Wild Wings. I get the habanero, mango habanero, I believe that's what it's called with my blue cheese because I was too lazy to make my own wings. Oh, yeah, and I'm just gonna hit my margarita. So, and edit some videos and watch TikTok.